YGSF TV. I am really looking forward to this episode because we've got our competition winner. Her name is Maria, she's from Venezuela, and Darby and Taylor and I are going to be styling her. I really hope you enjoy the series as much as I enjoyed filming it. Lots of love. Hi, how are you? I'm good, I'm nice to you. I know. All right, come in, come in. Thank you. Maria, you're meeting Darby and Taylor for the first time. Hi. How are hey, you? Hey, lovely nice to meet, meet you. you. Maria is in fashion and she's also in music, so works oh, like you okay. guys. I want you to tell me a bit about what you're doing at the moment. Well, right now, I'm in Marangoni, studying styling. I just want to like be able to like know a little bit of everything, you know? The more you know, the better. Yeah. Definitely. Do you find that then as well with your music in terms of you want to know all aspects of everything? Yeah, definitely. I think I, I never did an internship or like worked alongside someone that was a manager or anything like that. I've made mistakes along the way because I didn't know those things that took me a bit longer. You sort of learn by doing, don't you? Yeah. Because being in a studio, you learn to assert yourself, you learn that your style is, that sort of thing. Yeah. Of course, like experience and just doing it is everything. I've learned so much in the last like two and a half years that I've been doing it now. Probably even two and a half years. Yeah. I feel like I've blinked and that's gone. I don't think you ever know enough. Like I'm still learning so much stuff. Yeah. You guys are obviously in the public eye a lot and do you find that it makes you more resilient? It gives you a lot of opportunities, it opens a lot of doors, but it kind of makes you feel like there's some things that you can't do in a way. Yeah, there's some things that if nobody was watching and you took that risk and you failed, great, it's a great story to tell when you make it. Do you think then that's maybe the case sort of for everyone because of social media? You've got to be willing to fail to succeed. Yeah, because you, know? you never know what people are going to say. You know, they're always going to, at first, they're always going to criticise, judge, tell you you can or whatever. How beneficial do you think it is being in fashion school for somebody wanting to go into the fashion world? The more you learn, the the easier it is when you eventually go out on your own two feet. It's good mm -hmm. for like networking. Going to uni for some people is, is a great thing. For me, yeah. it wasn't because I think I would have learned more about what I wanted to do in presenting, acting and fashion by yeah. just going and just doing it. Do you think that going to fashion school made you become more brave in terms of your style? 100% like you said, it's more about the people you're around and literally I could turn up in the multiple rig on. When she went to fashion school, I remember ringing me being like, oh my God, this is person they walked in and they've got like this crazy app and they've got this and they've got, yeah, and, like yeah. you're really shocked. Everyone's Ooh. different and you get people from all different walks of life. In the fashion industry and in the music industry, any creative entertainment industries, there are a lot of pressures. Only experience and time and events that happen to you in your life toughen you up for mm -hmm. what's next. Everyone actually knows what you see on Instagram and what you see in the magazines <laughs> isn't real. real. Yeah. No, yeah. but we still are like, oh, but I don't look like this. So, yeah. Yeah. I don't think anybody can sit there and pretend that they. everyone wants the best of themselves, okay, whether so somebody wants, do you know what I mean, to be skinnier, bigger bum, wants to put on weight, lose weight, whatever it is, everybody's never 100% happy with themselves. you just got to accept how happy yeah. you are. Is it really that important? Exactly. It depends. And it's our choice to look on Instagram all yeah. the time at the end exactly. of the day. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to blow a kiss and not get my hand yeah, in it. I'm like, no. <laughs> party rings or chocolate digestives? Party rings. Would you rather be a lampshade or a vase? A lampshade. You can just like shine through. Right. <laughs> Best character trait? Amazing, funny, hilarious. <laughs> Your pink hair. <laughs> yes. East London or West London? West London. Who is your favourite designer? Designer, Elisa. Would you let me dye your hair pink? No. <laughs> What's your worst character trait? Um... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, my organisation is not great. No, definitely not. What's the last song you listened to? My own. <laughs> it actually was. Which is? A song that I wrote last week. I was briefing it, listening to it. Would you rather be a lampshade or a vase? What? <laughs> a lampshade or a vase? Um, I would rather be a vase. Finally, would you let me dye your hair pink? Yeah, I actually would. <laughs> Great, let's do it. <laughs> This is the first look, and I've got to say, you look so insane. I think this is one together because 
at the moment I'm really liking my prints with bright colours. I think sometimes I have a bit of a structure to all my outfits. Because of my body shape, I always wear either like a jacket, skirt and a top, or like a dress with a jacket. The red jacket just kind of stood out. Black polo night, quite plain, yeah. to match the shoes, like you don't want to overdo it. No, I really like it because I like how it clashes and it's loud and I think the red blazer just really it's suits amazing. you. But honestly, <laughs> I would say I go out like this, I really like it. So Aww. Yeah. Sometimes you just need to push in a different direction. The jacket is from Boohoo, so really cheap. You can literally get it for like £20. Tops from Lipsy, um, but you can literally find these kind of tops anywhere. I've got one on, I think this one's top shop probably. And then the skirt is from Pretty Little Thing. So look number two, very different from look number one, styled by Darby. Tell me about this look, why did you pick it? This is like an evening outfit. Black you can wear to anything. I just thought something I'd never seen Maria before, so I didn't know. So I wanted to wear something that I thought maybe she would feel comfortable in, like not mm -hmm. too tight, throw it on, quite classic look. It creates so. a nice shape with the belt as well. Yeah. This look is actually really not expensive at all. The jacket is from Pretty Little Thing, and so is the belt. The dress that you're wearing is actually a jacket, so I do sometimes wear it as a jacket with the belt that it comes with, or wear it with like a shorts or a skirt underneath it and have it as like the main feature. If you get this, like you can wear it with a lot of stuff, so it's, yeah. it's good. You can wear it's, it with so yeah. much stuff. Yeah. I even wear that sometimes with jeans as well. It's nice to have an item which is super adaptable. So the final look that I put my lovely Maria in is my look. So what do you think? I love this. I love the jacket with the Gucci sliders on point. Yeah, because I know that you quite like like black so I didn't want to push you too far but I wanted to add some of my like colors and craziness the jacket is actually from Zara my mum got it me and I wore it recently on a shoot and the shoes are Gucci and I'm just obsessed with Gucci loafers I think they're just like one of the my greatest investments Absolutely. and they go perfectly with the jacket like it makes it really pop and I think it gives you quite a love punky it. vibe which I've not really seen you with no so, yes. I do love this yeah me too so thank you so much guys for coming over and helping me style Maria. Yeah. Thank, you. thank you. Thank you so much for having us. I've yeah. Really yeah. It. It's been fun. Anyway, let's have a big hug. Aww. Thank you. Mwah. Thanks guys.